Hello and welcome to MacYourself.com's video tutorial on Active Screen Corners. Active Screen Corners is one of the most underrated features of the Mac operating system, mainly because most people don't even know it exists. Yeah. For this video, we're going to do an overview of Expose and Spaces and show how they can integrate seamlessly with Active Screen Corners to boost your productivity. So what I'm doing now is opening up a bunch of applications to demonstrate how Expose works. When you've got a lot of windows open at one time, it can be used to show a bird's eye view of your active applications. Rolling over each window will reveal its name and clicking on a window will bring it to the front. Expose also lets you get the same bird's eye view of the multiple windows that belong to an active application only, such as what I'm doing right now with Safari. Finally, you can use Exposé to temporarily hide all open windows to reveal the desktop. You can even open a finder window from the desktop while keeping all of the windows hidden. All of this can be done with a single keystroke, which we will go over in a few minutes since it varies by the model of computer you have. Okay, we're going to open up System Preferences to set up Spaces, a new feature in Mac OS X, Leopard. Click the Expose and Spaces button and ensure the Spaces tab is selected at the top. Select the checkbox on the left to enable Spaces and you'll notice that the options to set up rows and columns are displayed. This is where you can choose how many different spaces to set up. You can go all the way up to 16, but we're going to stick with 4 for now. Spaces let you assign specific applications to a certain space to improve window organization. You can do this in a number of ways, such as clicking the plus button and selecting other. A list of all your installed applications will display. The first one I'm looking for is iTunes, and when I find it, I will select it and click add. You can also use the plus button to add currently active applications to your list. Another easy way to add programs to the assigned application list is to open a finder window, navigate to the applications folder, and simply drag something to the white space in the spaces window. You can even select multiple items and drag them at the same time, like I'm doing with iPhoto, Pages, and Safari. Once you've gathered a good list of your commonly used applications, you can assign them to only open in a specific space. For example, I'll leave address book in space 1, I'll put iCal in space 2, I'll also put iPhoto in space 2, and so on. You can organize them however you choose, based on your personal preference and your user habits. If you want an application to stay consistent and appear in all spaces, you can do that as well. A helpful tool for spaces is to enable its icon to be shown in the menu bar. This will show you what space you're currently in and will allow you to change spaces. For example, I'll go to space 4, which is where I assigned pages to be. Another way to navigate between spaces is to click on the icon in the dock. This will give you an overview of all the spaces and what is currently open in each of them. I'm going to open up some more apps, like iTunes, which will immediately bring me to space 3, where it was assigned to reside. Clicking a program's icon in the dock will do the same thing. iPhoto brings me to space 2. Since iCal also assigned to space 2, it opens right where I currently am. Okay, so let's go back to space 1 to close my finder window since I don't need it anymore. 
and then click the spaces icon in the dock. One of the great things about spaces is how flexible it can be. Here I am clicking address book from space 1 and dragging it directly to space 3. Now I'm putting it back in space 1 and dragging iCal from space 2 to space 4. Spaces even works together with Exposé to show you thumbnails of everything that's within each space. This is especially useful for dragging apps from space to space. Back in the System Preferences window for Spaces, we're going to set up even more useful ways to trigger Spaces changes. In the field that's called To Switch Between Spaces, make sure the first option, Control plus Arrow Keys, is selected. In the field that's called To Switch Directly to Space, also make sure the first option is selected. These will enable you to use control plus arrow keys to navigate between spaces, or you can use control plus three to go to the third space, control plus two to go to the second space, and so on. Even more tricks include being able to drag entire spaces to a new position, like turning my fourth space into my third space by clicking and holding the blue background area and moving your mouse. You can also bring all of your active windows into the first space by pressing C on your keyboard. Pressing it again will return the windows to their previous space. Another trick is to press and hold the shift while you drag a window between space to maintain its exact position on the screen. Here you can see address book changes spaces but remains in the same location on the screen. Now that you have a good understanding of how Expose and Spaces work, we can finally set up our active screen corners. Back in the System Preferences window, click the Expose tab. Here's where you'll find the keyboard shortcuts to trigger Expose. For me, they are F9, F10, and F11. The four drop-down menus at the top of each represent a corner of your Mac screen. In the top left corner, we're going to choose Activate Spaces. In the bottom left corner, select all windows. And finally, in the bottom right corner, select desktop. Believe it or not, we are already done setting up active screen corners. To use them, all you have to do is move your mouse cursor to the corners of the screen, and it will trigger the command you set. To deactivate it, simply hit the same screen corner again. Activating the Spaces corner and then the All Windows Exposé corner will show you everything currently open on your system. So there it is. Active Screen Corners enables all the power of Exposé and Spaces. Nice and easy with no keyboard shortcuts to remember. Thanks for watching and go Mac yourself.